options so you can opt for smaller like these stubby ones I use them here for example or you can go bigger longer antenna this is a special antenna I'll show you later First, you have to know that in the ham radio there are long waves and there are short waves. The most handheld ham radios are short wave radios. I'll show you this. Long wave, for example, are at the 80 meter or the 40 meter and they are sending on 3.5 megahertz or 7 megahertz. The short waves are the 2 meter band and the 70 centimeter band and they transmit the 140 megahertz and 430 megahertz. So the long waves with the low megahertz frequency have very long waves and the short waves 2 meter 70 centimeter 40 megahertz, 430 megahertz, they have short waves. Okay? So, let's have a look at the handheld ham radio bands. Uh, common bands are 10 meter, 6 meter, 2 meter, 1.25 meter, and 70 centimeter bands. You know the 10 meter is the old famous CP citizen bands, it transmits on 28 to 29 megahertz. Then there is the 6 meter, it's called the magic band, it's 50 to 54 megahertz. Then there is the 2 meter, the very high frequency. 144 to 148 megahertz, the 1.25 at 222 megahertz, and the 70 centimeter at the edge, 430 to 440 megahertz. Okay? The GMRS, FRS, and MERS are transmitting 1462 megahertz and 152 megahertz. VHF and UHF. This is uh, the common frequencies, but the most handheld radios use the 2 meter and the 70 centimeter, uh, and some are capable of transmitting on the 222 megahertz or the GMS, FRS, inverse frequencies. All these, fre all these frequencies from 152 megahertz up to 462 megahertz are in the range of the very high or ultra high frequency. Okay, so let's have a look at the antennas itself. The antennas, the low band as mentioned, with the low megahertz and the long waves, they use very big antennas because the uh, antenna the length of the antenna has to be a fraction of the wavelength of the transmitted radio waves so the bigger or longer the wave the bigger and longer the antenna and that's uh, the case why we use the short sorry there are frequencies used 
and that's uh, the case why we use only the 4, 50 megahertz 6 meter band the 144 megahertz on the 2 meter band or the 430 megahertz on the 70 centimeter band for uh, the handheld ham radios okay because they have shorter wavelengths so the overall size of the antenna could be shorter okay then some basics about the radio wave propagation the radio waves were sent from the antenna and they act a little bit like uh, light waves so they go in one direction from on all sides from the antenna so if you may imagine you're standing on the earth your radio waves are transmitted out in the space from your antenna and now that's the uh, important stuff the long waves could be reflected by the sky and go back but the short waves are not reflected by the sky they only go like light waves in a straight line from the radio antenna so if someone is behind the horizon line could not reach them with a normal ham radio in a long uh, with the short waves because the short waves only go straight and if you're behind the horizon line you're not able to receive on the other hand the long waves with the low megahertz may be reflected from the sky so if you're sending out your message on a low wave, the low wave is reflected and is able to reach a point behind the horizon line and vice versa if there is someone sending from here it goes up, is reflected by the sky and comes back to you. Okay. But we only look for the uh, short wave radios because the handhelds mostly common are short waves. And in this case, you, if, if these are the mountains and these are valleys, and someone stands down below in the valley and someone stands up on the mountain, it's a very good possibility to reach one radio other from the valley down to the mountain and from the mountain down to the valley but it's not possible to go through the mountain because the radio waves do not go through the mountain so if one likes to reach one from one valley behind the mountain to the next valley he has to go up someone transmit it back down and so the optimal for the transmission is if both people are on the high mountain because you have a clear uh, straight line of sight and the radio waves could flow without any problems there okay so you shorter the waves you shorter the antenna but also um, there's a little different in the antenna because if you have a very very short antenna like this this is uh, for the 430 megahertz for the 70 centimeter band a very short wave and a very short antenna but the transmission is not as good as if we take a little bit uh, longer antenna like this this antenna also could be used for the short wave of the 70 cm band. So you can use this and this antenna both for the same 140, uh, sorry, 430 megahertz. In this case, the 430 and the 144 megahertz 
are in a very near range so the most antennas are uh, so called double band antennas and these antennas are possible to use on boost bands the same is true for this this extra short stubby could not only be used for the 430 megahertz but also for the 144 megahertz so you could use these boost frequencies with this short antenna or you can use these boost frequencies with this longer antenna and as it uh, is obviously the longer bigger antenna makes a better performance it's not as comfortable like this because with a radio with this short antenna I can put it in my pocket and the antenna goes not in my way but the output is restricted because it's so little on the other hand the standard antenna of the most radios like this here it's uh, some, some in between and there are a variety of other antennas you can use this for example is a special antenna <coughs> it's a very short one but it's a triple band antenna it's the model MH511 and it's possible to send on the magic band the 52 megahertz and the 146 and the 446 megahertz so it's very universal to use but the performance is of course poor if I like to transmit on the magic band I need for example this antenna it's a little bit longer than a normal antenna because uh, this part has uh, spirals in it and it makes a more efficient antenna for the 50 megahertz helped a little bit uh, to clear out what antennas you use. Now you have to be careful because there are different uh, connection types but there are a lot of adapters um, possible to get so you can match any mount any antenna on any handheld with the adapters if needed. Okay, have a good time. Bye.